I'm Eric, I'm KC at XJ, and I'm with Universal Radio. We wanted to take a closer look at what came with the ATOS 25 antenna system. There are three elements that come with it for the main radiating elements that attach to the top of the antenna. Depending upon what band you're working, um, the lower in frequency, the more elements you're going to be used. For the higher frequencies, you might only use one or two. For a counterpoise when you're set up, um, it comes with two smaller radials here that are used for when you're using it for VHF and UHF purposes. The green wires, there are three different lengths. Uh, depending upon what band you're working will determine whether, you, whether or not you need all of them. But it gives you all of the counterpoises that you need to work the basically 40 meters through 6 meter sides on the HF. Right now I've got it set for 40 meters in its configuration, which uh, uses all three of the aluminum elements that come with it. It'll work basically 40 meters through 440 megahertz. The tuning on it works really neat. You can do fine tuning and slow adjustments by twisting it, and it'll roll its way down on the coils that are inside. If you need to make fast adjustments, you can push and pull it up and make some quick adjustments there. For somebody doing backpacking, or uh, doing some camping and wants a very portable, very capable antenna system, um, this should work out quite well. Uh, it's definitely nice to get a chance to play around with this. We were very impressed with the build quality of this antenna uh, and with how easy it was to put up in the field. It uh, takes a little bit of work to switch bands, but having that much frequency range coverage in one antenna in this compact of a package is definitely an amazing value.